Yeah, no, it was uh, it was an awesome tournament to be to be a part of, and I had a lot of fun getting to know uh, some of the professionals out here and just being able to watch them play and uh, see how they they never miss and they're always making putts. Uh, it, it definitely makes you elevate your game, but uh, no, I was happy with with how I scored and how I played and. Um, wish I would have had a little bit better showing today to back up the 74, but that's okay. Yeah. How much, uh, you know, did that first round help you, though, uh, you know, today in terms of settling down and staying within yourself? Because it really looked like that's how you play. Yeah, just trying, you know, my uh, best friend, my caddy, just try and uh, focus on, not focus on the sh a bad shot or anything, just just move on to the next one, laugh about it, enjoy, enjoy the moment. Um, but, yeah, that definitely helped my confidence for today. So now do you go on to Amazon or do you find a thrift shop uh, to wear a green jacket into the dressing room uh, at training camp? <laughs> I might have to. Yeah, I uh, haven't checked my uh, my phone yet, but uh, I'll have to send Shaif a, a nice text message. <laughs> Did you hear from Mark after yesterday's round? I, I know it didn't technically finish till earlier today, but did he did he say anything to you? Yeah, I, uh, well, I talked to them this morning. Okay. Um, well, we had the delay and everything, and um, we're chatting a little bit, and he was... He was saying that he wished he was he was able to watch it on a live stream or something. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. No. He he uh, he reached out, which was nice. Is he happy you broke his scoring record? <laughs> I, I think so, but I think deep down he'd probably want to try and beat it again. Right. Yeah. yeah. Um, you mentioned how you know these guys don't seem to miss, and you look at like you just played the same course that they all played. There's a guy who's 17 under par after two rounds. Like, <laughs> is that almost hard to fathom that, that you could go? be that good on this course yeah and it also makes me feel like i chose the right sport <laughs> so <laughs> um yeah these these guys are they're very good very fun to watch and uh, obviously uh a you know, big name and neil shipley's around here and uh, he's played on the on the pga tour and everything and um, yeah it's, it's just cool to, to see some of these guys play and just just watch them to be honest with you right I imagine there's a part of you that just appreciates the grind that these guys go through you did it yourself right like this is sort of the ECH or ACE, AHL version of they're trying to get to the NHL in their sport and they're out here grinding out. There's no guarantee of paychecks or anything like that. Yeah, no, it's definitely a grind. And, you know, I talked to a, to a few of them and uh, they kind of gave me um, what they go through in a year. And it's it's very impressive, you know, that after two days, I'm my legs are tired. I'm like, how do these guys do, do it for and do it back to back weekends? And um, yeah, no, it's just uh, it, it's fun to watch them. And uh, it was just really cool to be a part of. And I just wanted to ask you to handicap the Jets room. So we now know, like, obviously, Shifley, Connor, Morgan, yourself have played in this. Who are maybe some other guys that you think could do this and probably do it fairly well? Like, you, you know who the good golfers are in the room. Yeah. Um, Morrissey's a pretty good golfer as yeah. well. I think he could he could do pretty well at this. Same with uh, Dom Toninato. Yeah. He's, he's another good golfer. Um, one of those guys that doesn't miss. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's we have a lot of guys in our room that that are pretty good golfers or in that six to ten handicap. And, right. Um, but yeah, this is. I think they they, they had a lot of fun at this, and, and I'll, I'd love to try and do this again in the future.